everybody, it's Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, I'm showing you where I got copyright striked on the video you're fixing to see. It's an older video, but it's a really good video, and I want to show it again because I had so much fun doing it. And what happened is, is that I got a big old email saying, I got copyright struck. So I went in to dispute the copyright strike, and come to find out, it's the last 10 seconds of the video. But guess what? The music comes with Video Shop. This is Video Shop. This is the app I use to make the videos, and it comes with free music for my monthly fee. Well, I guess it's not free because I have to pay a monthly fee. But anyways, the last 10 seconds of the music, it's the same music I was playing throughout the whole video, but they just chose the last 10 seconds to say was bad. So I'm fixing it with a whole different a whole different tune. That's what I'm going to do, and I want you to see this video because it's so good. Watch how I handle the people in Keller, Texas at the jail. Yes. What's her name? My last name is Campos. C A M P O S. Hers is Hanson. H A N S O N. Thank you. That's all I needed. I left her. Oh, I left a note for her on the door. And we're in Keller, Texas. Um, are you a, are you a guard? I'm a person. Oh. Okay. Can you jail roster, please? A jail roster? Mm -hmm. It's all online. Yeah, but I don't have, I don't have internet service, so. You don't have internet service? Mm -mm, at my house. So can I just have a jail roster, please? Um, let me see if there's a, like, for one hour, okay? Give okay, thank you. The city of Keller has vowed to become more transparent with its citizens. The police department has vowed this also. They want to try to chip away that blue line that separates the citizens from the police department. The real truth is, they don't want to get caught violating anybody's civil rights again. Remember these guys right here? The officer that violated their rights almost got away with it, but they knew their rights. And so they were able to sue the city of Keller and receive a $200,000 payout. This money came from an insurance policy that the city of Keller has in case anybody's rights are violated. Therefore, because this payout did not affect the officer's paychecks, they're just going to be more careful so that they don't get caught. Let's see if the jail got the memo on being transparent and friendly with citizens. Here's what happens when you try to get the information online in their transparent website. Well, thank goodness for the Freedom of Information Act of Texas, especially Chapter 552, which says government bodies shall promptly release the requested information that is not confidential by law. And if they don't give me those six names, I'm going to be thinking, wow, some transparency they have, and what are they trying to hide? Yeah. Yes. Why? Can't you just put it on, write the six names down on a piece of paper? Is that hard? I mean, you only got six people back there. If you only got six people back there, just write their names down on a piece of paper. Y'all are more than welcome to look online. Don't be so lazy. Why are you so lazy? Why are you so lazy? Why can't you just write them down on a piece of paper? That's pretty lazy. Tyrant. Hello? Oh, I'm dismissed now? Okay. So, so much for a welcome to Keller. Hey, listen, you know, you've heard of the, you, the hey, uh, unfortunately, you, you got to listen to me for a second. I'm one of the people, right? And just because you have that information doesn't mean that you can keep it from the rest of us. All right. It's just six names. 
You're not, the part of the law, the Freedom of Information Act says you don't have to jump through hoops to get that information. It's, you could write that down on a piece of paper in three minutes, but you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna just be a tyrant and wear that badge and just, you know, be rude just because you want to be. So the Freedom of Information Act says that we're supposed to have easy access. And the easiest access for me right now is for you to write those six names down. Lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Carolina Fort Worth. I'm just here writing a little note to the jail personnel on my nice big paper because they were very nice to me and I want them to know how I feel. Because I don't know when they cut the speaker off on me when I was trying to talk. You know, so we're gonna write a little note to them so that they know they don't have to do it again. Yes, no. This is what the note says. It says, to the jail employees, especially the woman who was rude to me, and on about, at about 4.15 on January 29th, the Freedom of Information Act was established to smash the seek, wall secrets and non-transparency between we the people and you who are the custodians of the information. And it just goes on. So we're going to put this note up so they get it and understand because they just were so rude. i got to get her name from my complaint form that I'm going to file. So I'm going to hang this up. Guys, look at that letter that I put up on the wall. It goes all the way to the floor and it's filled with all the laws and all the stuff that they should be doing and that they didn't do. I mean, look at it. It goes all the way to the floor. It's crazy. I wonder if she read it or just ripped it up. Yes. What's her name? My last name is Campos. C-A-M-P-O-S. Her name is Hanson. H-A-N-S-O-A. Thank you. That's all I needed. I left her. Oh, I left a note for her on the door. And here's where I had to change the last 10 seconds of the music, even though it's the same music throughout. Thanks for watching everybody. Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, get this video.